Welcome to D20 Discoveries podcast. Today we're going to be discussing animes, uh, I think part two. So we're going to be uh, having a little bit of fun here. Um, who wants to start off with one of their talking points on animes? I started last time. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. I- I'll start. I'll start. <laughs> I have most recently, because I've been making some shit about One Piece, <laughs> uh, because there's so much to watch, I decided to start it. Oh, yeah. And I think in two weeks, I have watched 146 episodes. Which is absolutely ridiculous if you stop and think about it. It is. <clears throat> but, you know... To think I'm only about 10% done. It's a little daunting. But I've watched Naruto, so I can I can get through this amount of episodes. I know I can. Um, I have a couple things I like about it. One, I like the 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 battles. I like the story. I do not like in the like funny and silly moments when it's like they just decided not to animate it. What do you mean? There's like a picture of a background. They just stand there and they're talking. There's been times where like their mouth just isn't moving, but like they're they're talking. And it's because it, it just is like it, the, the anim, it's animated very lazily in those moments, but very epically in the fighting moments. It, you know, there's just times where it's just like they decided to animate it very little. And I'm watching animation. I'm not. I, I want it to be fully animated. Or are you sure you're not watching? Like some points are supposed to be voiceovers where like they've had the fight and they're resting now, so you see them all just like hanging out, and then the voiceover goes. Oh no no! This is like they'll be on the ship, mm-hmm. and it's just like they're in the background. The ship is just like a car. It looks like a cardboard moving, which is fine because it's a, it's a stationary. You know, it's on the sea, so it makes sense if it's just up and down. Um, and then. Uh, They'll be talking to each other on the ship and just like nothing like they're not like there's no animation like they're just not happening and it only happens for two or three four seconds at a time but it's just very off settling to me you know are you sure it's not just the video lagging no as well? yeah no no it's not that <clears throat> okay um i just know but that other, some th- of the other areas... i mean that's a minor thing you know, I was gonna say, it might also be because of the translation, like it's a little bit longer in English than it is in the original Japanese, so they have to like, nope, uh, I, don't, it in Japanese. I, I don't watch it in English. Oh, gotcha. I really don't care for anime in English. I, I want, I like it. I, I watch so much of Naruto, uh, Naruto Shippuden as um, Japanese that I, it, I'm just kind of like, I'm just used to it, just reading the, the, the mm-hmm. captions. It's just like okay. second, it's just like second nature. Um, and I think the voice acting is just better in Japanese. Nope, I can't my be personal opinion. with that. I disagree. I think voice acting in English and Japanese is equally good depending on who the voice actor is for me. I agree. Well, I mean, there's definitely good ones. I just, <clears throat> I don't know, I, I prefer the original Like uh, the woman who actions. originally voiced my Valentine in Yu-Gi-Oh. I was so sad when I got to the fourth season and it's no longer Megan Holland's head. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm terrible at names anyways. I, I don't remember. Um, I don't remember the uh, uh, exact like the names of the voice actors. Oh, yeah. I'm terrible with that. Unfortunately, I'll I'm good with remembering faces, but my brain just deletes names. So, yeah, I, I, I'm terrible at like names um, in general, even if I know know them to, to come up with a name on the top of my head is is. Well, I've looked up her Difficult, stuff even yeah. just recently uh-huh. because there's an anime convention in Texas, mm-hmm. and it's literally the entire beginning cast of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, wow. So I'm like, okay, is this going to be, because it's a reunion, right? Yeah. is this going to be Megan, or is this going to be the newer woman, and right. I can't remember her name at the moment, and... But, when I saw that it was Megan, I was like, I want to go. But you've, all, you've always been very good at recall. Like you, we'll be talking about movies or, or or actors in general, and you're like, oh, that's this. Act. And you just say a name I, I've probably never heard before. And I'm like, I need a face. <laughs> <laughs> I need a face. I don't know names that well. Um, unless you're like a really, really big like A-listing actor, I'm, it's going to be difficult for me to remember your name. And even then. 
Um, um, I I like watching One Piece in English because I like some of the voice actors. Like the voice actor of Zoro, I think is does a really good job. But I like him in any show he's in, so I just enjoy hearing that specific actor. I think up to now the one point. Sorry, y'all. I'm having mic issues. I guess. Um, I get uh, <laughs> uh up to one point that uh up to where I'm at now, my favorite villain slash person um I, that uh um has been introduced is it's a I forget the guy's name, but it's a ballerina. Um I think is number two. It was I I forget his character name, but I know he was number two in the Baraco works or whatever. And uh he he was a ballerina ninja. I just don't and know how he, to feel about all. And this. he he had ballerina kung fu. I like that about One Piece. <laughs> One Piece is like you can be amazing at anything. You don't have to like, if you're a guy, you don't have to specifically be big macho machine guns Rambo guy. You can be a ballerina ninja, and that totally works. And he, he literally one of the things I enjoy about the show. It's all like you do you, and that's fine. <laughs> he 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 literally added um uh swan heads to his ballerina feet and like started attacking people with swan heads and his and have his you ever been around ballerina, an actual swan and his are vicious in yeah. his ballerina kung fu mm -hmm. i just thought it was very in in uh, uh unique and oh yeah i love and, it and uh uh i love it's very interesting i love the little snail phones <laughs> But but I thought it was funny because his power was that he could change forms into other people, mm -hmm. but yes. he couldn't ballerina kung fu in their forms. Yes. <laughs> so, so he could only ballerina kung fu in his form. So that's a very big like deterrent. Yeah, yeah, that's a very big nerf. You're like, oh, I want to fight you, but I can't fight you in the form in the fake form. So if you fight him, you kind of know you're, you're fighting him because he can't fight without him being him. So yeah, it was just really funny. Are you in the area of the desert, I think it was? Um, they just uh, ended that, and they're on to the next. Okay. Um, I have I'm not watched just, the show yet. I, I'm, like, only a year behind, so I don't want to fuck it up and tell you anything. So I'm like, I need to figure out where you are. Without, oh, no, like, this was... this. this is awesome. I think this was made, like, 25 years ago. If you don't watch it, I'm sorry. It's, what? What? It started, like, 25 years ago. It's yeah. related to run through 2025, I believe. Holy crap. Yeah, this has been one of the longest-running animes. Yeah, like... and the guy is actually sticking with it. Like, he keeps writing good stuff. It's not gotten stale. It's not gotten old. I... He's dedicated to this. He's like, I, I, I love I, this journey, and so far everyone's loving it with me. So we're gonna go as long as I, th I think it started in like Holy 1997 Jesus. or 1998 or something like mm -hmm. that. Holy crap! Yep. So so like yeah, it. I mean, it's been. That's why there's 1100 episodes. Uh, I think they're coming out with 1104. I think I heard like re like soon. So, you yeah, know, because it's slated to run. I'm I'm no for certain through uh, the airing of this year. Um, I thought it was until next year, but this year or next year is when it's up for renewal. And as far as I'm understanding, they they're in talks to renew it. So holy crap. So yeah. and it's the same original person. Yep. Yeah. It's the same guy. He's still writing. So, it. He's like, I love I, it. <laughs> I just have to ask. What drugs is he on? <laughs> well, 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 you gotta fi you gotta figure. Let's say he started when he was in his twenties. He's only in his forties and fifties now. No, right, yeah. and, and that's know, fine. So... It's it's more of how did you keep a story going this long? How do you have inspiration? I'm this sure many. Is... Oh yeah, different... I'm sure he takes a bunch of inspiration from like real life. Like there was probably some random dude who was really into ballet who was just like off on a tangent, and he's like, "You're just a character now," like with all yeah. writers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I one other thing I'm not a fan of so far was so I've I've really enjoyed how they've introduced every character mm -hmm. up to this point. Um, I know there's more to be added, but I don't know when or or anything well, yeah, about you're that. Only you know, in like a couple hundred in. Um, oh yeah, and uh, you've seen things that you don't even realize are relevant right now, and you won't for like couple yeah. hundred more episodes so two or three more seasons so oh my god yeah i i really really do not like how they introduced nico robin into the 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 crew and i know that she's a pretty important character because i've seen like clips and stuff oh yeah so i know that she's a pretty important character um 
but she just kind of like she's a villain and then all of a sudden she just walks out and was like hey can i join your crew he saved me i want to become a crew member and it was just kind of like every all the other ones they had these long arcs of like introducing the character and getting the crew to like them and stuff like that and and she's just kind of like she just walked out and she's like oh i'm not injured no more can i i'm just gonna join your crew and luffy's like yeah sure and i, I just didn't like it i just i, I luffy is mm. like that with everyone so literally yeah. like anybody could be like like a Bugsy could be like, you know, I'm sorry for everything. Let's be friends. I want to join your crew. And he totally would be on board with that. That's just the way Luffy is. I, I understand but it. I just hang on because you haven't gotten to her story yet. And well, I know for a little bit. I know like I know because I, I've watched some things like before watching it. Right. So I know I know things. I know about the stuff for about the world government and stuff like that. I'm just I wasn't a fan with it. I, there was no hinting. There was no like preamble. There was there was nothing. She just she walked out and was like, "Hey, can I be your on your crew?" And I just didn't like so since they spent all the time introducing the characters in other ways, um, and like having a whole arcs for them to uh, uh, join the crew. And she had like a two minute introduction to the. Yeah, it was just. You know, I, I wish there was a little bit of a... It, it was kind of felt like an afterthought. Whether it was or not, it just felt like it. Uh, it's not the arc is coming. That's what I'm yeah. trying to tell you, is that it's building up to it, and it the way it's... The reason it starts this way is going to make sense later. Yeah. Okay. Well, as of right now, to the point I'm at, I'm not a fan. Yeah. But, but I guess we'll see. Also, I would say that speaks to how well Luffy's like, yeah, I, I think you're a good person. You've got a chance with me, and that is one thousand percent the way Luffy is. Yeah, if he thinks you're good, you're good. Just like with Nami, even though she shivved them all, he was. I haven't watched it yet. He, he I haven't he decided did. whether or not I'm going to. She to... screwed them all over with something, and he just decided, you know, that's fine, because her, her she had a valid reason. He felt it, yeah. like he could understand where she was coming from. And he'd already decided that she was a good person, and like ideally the character is a good person, so she gets her redemption chance. So, thousand um, something episodes just seems a little daunting. Yeah, oh, yeah. but like you also got to realize it's still going, and there's no rush. Um, I actually do have to say I like the uh, One Piece live action so far. I've watched two episodes. I didn't care for it. That's why I watched. Uh... I I like it. It's definitely like live actions miss something. I don't know what it is, but they definitely lose something in translation. But as far as live actions go, that's one of the better ones I've yeah. seen. Yeah, I, I you told me on the last uh, podcast to watch it, and so I I did. Um, and I I watched two episodes of it. I probably I might have watched three. I don't remember. Um, I wasn't a fan of it, so that's why I watched the. I I went to the anime, and started watching that. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say the show really doesn't start or begin. Until they enter the Grand Line, though. Like, the rest of it, is, it seems kind of like the prologue to a book. You right, know? yeah. You're getting yeah. Luffy's kind of backstory. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like the first, what, like, 80 episodes or something. So, just, just feel like the prologue to the thousand episodes. That's just what it feels like. Essentially, it's you're seeing D&D &D characters starting at level one. And how they go through the entire campaign yeah. and through the level one's kind of rough, and you're like, Ugh. well, no, you, you, it's not you, terrible. It's not even level one. Like, oh, you see a couple as commoners. Yeah, no. yeah. The, 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 the U little baby I, nothings. I, 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 I'm, I'm blanking now, but it's like it's Ulog, right? U U uh, Usopp. Usopp, yeah, yeah. Usopp was a commoner. He wasn't level one. He was he was a commoner when it, on, on when we first introduced him. He was not level one. He was definitely a commoner. Well, he had to be level <laughs> one because he had a name. He's like level two now. But Usopp was really cool. Honestly, like I can't tell you anything, but just later it'll it'll make sense. Uh, I, I'm just saying, it, introduction wise. Yeah, yeah. Usopp was level. Zero. Usopp was a basic <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Um, so the, uh, um, that was me on mine. Uh, yeah, I had one piece too for ones that I really enjoy. I love okay. it. It's got such fantastic, um, and it's always got really good, like, even when it comes to like talking about politics, like, because they talk about the world government and how people should be able to be free to express themselves and stuff. Um, so like when it's got the, there's like a point where it's got 
a person who can change their gender whenever they want. And uh, they're, Luffy's like, oh, that's totally awesome. You know, whatever is whatever. Is that like the change, change fruit? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I, I didn't made it up, but I'm, that's how they name stuff is they just, yep. they just pick one word yep. and they just say it twice. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Or like I'm a, the gum gum fruit. I'm a rubber guy. Fruit. Gum gum fruit. Mm hmm. You know, I'm a swan guy, swan swan fruit. Like that's yeah, just, oh, come on. yeah, that's just how it is. <laughs> the double fruits are very basic. <laughs> yeah, they they do not stretch out the names. They nope. it's exactly what it is. I, I'm I'm a flame guy, fire fire fruit. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> like, why why duplicate it? Why not just do fire fruit? That's uh -huh. that's one piece. That that that's just it. Uh, oh, okay. You, you're you're asking like. Why do they name something something? It, because that's just how they exactly. named it. So yeah, why Sacramento just... named Sacramento? Yeah, I didn't name it. <laughs> yeah, they just that's how they named it. I, I mean, you're gonna have to you would have to ask the animator himself why he decided that. <laughs> because uh, yeah, I pose that question to you if you ever come across this video. Yeah, <laughs> I would like die. I'd be like, oh my god, he's talking to me. <laughs> Oh, totally. Pedal fan girl. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> Which one one of ones on your list? Um, one of my favorite more recent ones is My Hero Academia. Oh, that's pretty good. Um never watched it. Nope. You tried, you didn't like the art style. Yeah. Doesn't really bother me. Doesn't I, I like the art style. I haven't come across one yet one anime yet that I've tried to watch that the art style has stopped me from wanting to watch it. For me, so far, the only one was Dragon Ball Z, um, but the line artist himself says that he subtly changes it as much as he can in each episode, and that really messes with my brain, and it gives me an actual headache if I watch them back to back. Oh. So, like, I can listen to the Dragon Ball Z show, but I can't actually watch it without being in pain. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. I've never been a big Dragon Ball Z fan just because I don't want to see two episodes of powering up to do an attack. This isn't fun to me. Well, I have news for you. There's Dragon Ball Z Team Four Star, Dragon Ball Z Abridged, 10 out of 10. It's amazing. <laughs> I haven't um, watched any of them. As far as My Hero Academia, I, I remember watching, I, I think, like six episodes. And the art style, if I'm watching an anime, it's because I want to watch the story and the art. And if I don't like 50% of it, I'm not going to watch it. I'm not sure what, about the art you don't like, because the art style kind of reminds me of an art, though. So I would have thought you would like I don't know what it is. It's just when I watch it and I'm not, a, like, if it just doesn't catch my eyes, it could be the color. or You know, it could be just how it's drawn or or you know it could be many things it's just i know when i watch something i look at it and, I, and it doesn't appeal to me i'm like no i that's not visually appealing to honest, me i don't want to watch it got through the fourth episode and i'm like i don't know if i'm going to start the fifth or if i'm going to give up and move on to something else but i decided to watch the fifth and i got further into the show and i really enjoy it i am done with all the current seasons that are available in english yep and I am waiting on the next one. Um, you, you don't watch any in the Japanese. Absolutely not. I cannot be bothered to do that. I, <laughs> it's no skin off my back. I don't care. I, you watch it how you want to watch it. It's just like people who say that people who listen to audiobooks aren't reading. Bullshit. Get off your high horse. Reading is reading. If you've got to listen to it to read, you want to read it on paper, you want to read it on Kindle. Oh, so you're, you're still absorbing the content. Yeah, uh, so. yeah. No, if you want to watch it in English, that's totally fine. If you want to watch it in Japanese, that's totally fine. If you want to watch both, totally fine. I, I think audiobooks, and, and this and it kind of goes with uh, listening to the anime in mm -hmm. uh, uh, your language. Um, same, kind of same concept is people learn differently. Yeah. People, you know, some are visual, some are hands-on, some are both. Some, you know, everybody learns differently. So if the way you can absorb something is a different medium than the norm, totally fine. Yeah, I don't care. I totally... I prefer for it to be accessible. So however you want to watch it, I'm just glad you're watching it. <laughs> we, um, we typically only watch TV while we're doing our overnight job. Mm -hmm. So to try to read Japanese subtitles oh, yeah. to keep up with or well, English subtitles on a I know what you're saying. Yeah. 
I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched 146 episodes in two weeks during the wrap. <laughs> yep. I am not you. I can't yeah, do it. It's because I don't have to read it. When you've watched, I don't know, a couple thousand episodes in a language, you may not, I may not be able to speak or read it. But when you hear something, it, you you it, you just know what it says. Like, right. Yeah. You, you know, it's. I was literally walking up to a, a, a um, guy's door to deliver the paper, mm-hmm. and in my my car was still going. And as I'm coming back, they were speaking, and I'm like, "Oh, Luffy's L- Luffy's yelling at somebody." I get in the car, and he's yelling at Zoro. Mm-hmm. Like, I just maybe not know every word he's saying, but I knew what was happening. Right. Yeah. You know, it's just. It, yeah, exactly. No, I'd rather, I feel like, especially because we watch it at night while we're trying to also work, I feel like with some of the conversations we've had about other animes, that you miss a lot of information that Oh, uh, I, I definitely don't. miss stuff. I, I definitely will miss stuff. So I don't want to be in that position to miss a ton of stuff because I'm trying to watch it in its original form. Mm-hmm. Sometimes for me, I just can't stand specific voice actors. So I'll just be like, I'll try it in Japanese. And if I don't like the voice actors, then I just, just go back to the English or vice versa. Well, that, that. that's so kind of the thing with me and Naruto is I love Naruto until you give me the English version. You give me the English Naruto and Naruto is so annoying. I, I cannot, love the English Naruto. I, can, I cannot watch it. I, can, I cannot watch the English Naruto. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry for, to the voice actor. It, I just do not like it. <laughs> and maybe it's because I've already watched a thousand episodes of Naruto, or however many it was. Uh, yeah, uh, so to say, yeah, with him and, being a whiny and then little all, plot. Then all of it, well, he was always, but not, not as bad as <laughs> the English one. Right, like really the same. Bad. But so. He's the same either way, but. <laughs> well, the... I mean, okay, so here's an example. He watched Demon Slayer in Japanese. I watched. Demon Slayer in English. Mm-hmm. He gets to this part and he's like, man, this fucking character just yells and is obnoxious through this whole freaking thing. He goes, that is going to drive you nuts. And I'm like, yes, it is. So I get through it and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. So we literally put phone side by side, played exactly the same scenes. And he goes, he doesn't do that in the English version. Not that even. That is fantastic. Oh, I thought you were talking about Inosuke. Yeah, we are. I, we are. Yeah, he's constantly running around. I'm king of the mountains. Ah. Right, but there's in the Japanese, he literally in, inside the uh, the house that like changes rooms and and stuff. When you first, he's bursting him. through, and he's just like ah, ah in every uh-huh. room in the English version. He he doesn't he's do not it nowhere near, like near that. as much. I watched the English version. For me, it was the same. It was it, nah, no. I literally put the clips next to each other. It was not as bad. I'm like I'm like, I'm like he bursting going through ah, and not ah, blah, 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 you know it, it just wasn't as exaggerated. <laughs> you know i'm like i'm like oh okay i like the voice actor his his first name is bryce i cannot for the fucking life of me say his last name Mm -hmm. um he is also the same voice actor for meliotis oh yeah in seven deadly sins and Zeldris in mm-hmm. Seven Deadly Sins. Yep. I recognize his voice. I just don't know I, the guy's name. I, I went. I, so I watched Demon Slayer first. Oh. And then Seven Deadly Sins. And oh, I'm like, okay. yeah, no, I I'm watching you. I'm watching Demon, <laughs> I was watching Demon Slayer. I'm like, where do I know this guy from? I know this guy from somewhere. Where is he from? Right? <laughs> I'm I'm super excited for the new Demon Slayer to come Me out. Me too. I'm like, I'm like itching. But when it comes out, it's going to come out in Japanese. It's not going to come out in English. You're going to have to either watch it in Japanese or you're going to have to, I thought you know. that's why this one was taking so long to come out was they wanted to do them both at the same time. That's... Oh, if it is, I did, I did, that's news to me. But I do also believe that it's not going to be on the platform that we watch it on. Uh, whatever platform it's going to be on, I will now watch it on that mm-hmm. platform. <laughs> it's going to be on Crunchyroll and something else. I, 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 I did hear that it was coming out on Crunchyroll, but I just assumed that it would come out on Funimation, too. Probably. It's usually you know, the first like, two it drops on. Yeah, so I, I just assumed. Like, well, hopefully it's on Funimation, because that's where we watch it. <laughs> but, but if not, you know, it looks like I'm going to be subscribing to a, a subscription to Crunchyroll. But, for you a know, little bit, yeah. For a little bit, but, you know. What's one that, because we skipped over. Oh, we were just talking about the One Piece, which is also on my list, so oh, that's okay. the one I counted. Okay. Um, one of the ones I enjoy is Fooly Cooly. 
It's kind of random. It's, yeah, I've never heard like of it. It would be with that um, name. There's <laughs> a girl who comes from space on a scooter and she hits a boy with her guitar and he grows a <laughs> robot out of his head. <laughs> That sounds like somebody's acid dream. <laughs> and then she goes to live yeah. with him and his family. <laughs> so a space skateboarder. No, no, scooter, scooter, scooter. Vespa. Oh, 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 oh okay. Uh, okay. A space European uh, is going to use the guitar. Uh-huh. Yep, that's her weapon of choice. As a mallet. Yes. Oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. When when did this come out? <laughs> the nineties. <laughs> so around the same time as That's One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's wild drugs. And then a bunch of robots. Lots of them. drugs. <laughs> lots of drugs. Uh, I want to know the creator of this. I would love to get an insight. Um, how did how how did you think of Oh, it's like this really concept. great because like cities oh. are shaped like giant toasters. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. <laughs> I, I I'm not saying that it's not a great anime. Oh, I've never heard of it God. or seen it. I cannot comment either way. <laughs> I'm just asking. The fucking look on your face. <laughs> I'm just asking how. I mean, we got toaster cities. Drugs, baby, drugs. <laughs> I, it really feels like it, that, you know, like, yeah. like if it, it feels like you were on an acid trip and you walked in to your kitchen and it was like, Ugh. the toaster, the toaster city, because you saw a city in a toaster and then that's just the idea. Or I don't know, maybe he like heard stories about America and that's the way I thought America would be. And then he's like, oh, this is, this is a much different okay. experience that I was anticipating. I, I got it. You ever <laughs> seen Sausage Party? Yes. <laughs> The the guy that goes no. on the acid trip and the in the house, he just starts seeing a bunch of uh, seeing a bunch of colors and 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 like crazy things. <laughs> That's how I'm imagining it started. Ayahuasca. Yeah, that that yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go with that when you watch, and you'll be you'll be fine. <laughs> it's just kind of like what just happened. I will have to <laughs> say, God. it doesn't sound like an anime for me. It's really short. It's only two seasons long. So. I that seems like a really long one. Uh, <laughs> I think it's 24 episodes total, but I might be wrong. Um, I, I think that should have been more like a, a short and sweet, fast, like five episode one, kind of similar to Afro Samurai. Could be epic for like seven episodes. Every or, time or I six watch episodes. it, it's shorter than I remember it. And I don't know how my brain You've watched that. it multiple times? <laughs> I've watched Sailor Moon multiple times mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in multiple different. Yeah, but Sailor Moon don't have uh, toaster cities. No, but it's got like eight seasons. And there's two different versions. Because there's like the I've, Toei one, and then there's like the that's... Sailor Moon Crystal, and then you there's know, all the movies. Only AC. How many times have you watched it? A lot. Uh, so give me a number. Like four? Once a all year. All of it? For 30 Season years. episode one to the end. I don't know, probably seven or eight times at least. I still think I've beat you on... Burn Notice? Burn Notice. Yeah, for sure. So I... Burn Notice is His not an anime. Show. It's just a series that has seven or eight seasons. I don't remember. There's like 27 episodes a season. And I've watched from episode one to the end and the movie. Didn't know there was a movie. Well, it's not really. It's a, it's a really long extended episode. Uh, nah, ten times. That's bones for me. Absolutely. All 15 once a year. seasons once a year. Yep. And now that we're talking about it, I'm probably going to start watching it this week. Um, Only because of David Morians. Uh, no, I love Temperance Brennan, the actress who plays her. And I love Angie. Oh, my God. She's such a cutie patootie. And I actually really do like the actor who plays Hodgins. I like him as yes. an actor. He does a fantastic job. Yes. But I've loved David Morians for... Oh, since Angel, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Robert's like, I have no idea who we're talking nope, about. Nope, nope. <laughs> all good, all good. I... Buffy, Robert. We're talking about Buffy. <laughs> um... Well, I remember watching, like, a couple episodes of Buffy Vampire, like... Angel. I remember going back to watch Buffy, mm-hmm. like, last year or the year before, and being like, why did I, I like, like this it. show? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. Seriously, though. Um, like, oh, like, oh, terrible. I loved Angel, but I couldn't get through Buffy. Right? So, uh... 
So one of my next ones <laughs> that I started watching and was so disgusted at it that I turned it off. And I'm sad about it. Was Bleach. The new Bleach. Oh, the thousand years of death or something? Mm-hmm. I I thought we were talking about animes that we like. Yes, we are. But I, you, I don't you care. Like I'm, ju- I'm, talk- I'm just talking about animes at this point. Um, <laughs> so I watched it, and I love Bleach. I've watched all of the Bleach, even those shitty-ass filler episodes that make no sense. Because they aren't you know? part of the actual manga. Yeah, yeah I, I, I kept going with it. It was like, okay... I was in the middle of a fight scene. I'm I'm now watching basketball or or soft ball or whatever soft ball they soft <laughs> soccer ball or or beach ball whatever they're playing at the time. They just randomly in the middle of a fight scene. It was fine. It it, it was terrible, but it was fine. I got through it. Watch started watching this. It was epic. It was. It was. I was getting into it. I was like like 10, 15 episodes in. I was like, damn, this is this is gonna be good. Then it all went to hell. Yeah. It all went to hell so quick. How the fuck do you have a battle where you kill off the strongest person in the whole goddamn show in the matter of three minutes? Oh, is he going to pull a Mary Sue and come back from the dead? No. I, I was so pissed off that I researched this. Oh. He is gone. Like, they killed him. He's gone. Huh. So that made you stop watching the show? Yes. That made me, that right there, I drew the line and was like, no. If you're going to kill off that epic of a character, it needs to be a badass fucking epic fight that is just one of the best fights in the whole series by none. You do not do it in a three minute little. What is that little, face? Little scrub battle. <laughs> Don't watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> I well, I want I I stopped watching Game of Thrones after one season. I don't like Game of Thrones, so that's but, okay. I, the books were great. The show sucked a bag of dicks, in my opinion. But I mean, I love that they got to play certain roles, like uh, the actress who played Cersei. I love her. I love her. She just couldn't make the show for me. I'm like, you're a great actress, but you can't save this. I'm sorry. <laughs> And you know what? I'm I'm not even the only person in this. I when I looked it up, I was looking up on Reddit because Reddit is so full of friendly people. Um, <laughs> looking up on Reddit, I, I was looking up on pretty much everything, comments on all types of uh, YouTube video, pretty much everywhere I could think of uh, looking up stuff. And every single person had like a, an opinion similar to mine. It's like it's like how do they could how how could you just kill off such an important epic character? In in just a a quick, a very quick little little fight. Have you watched any episodes past that? No. No, I literally watched that mid episode and went nope. I I got that angry. That's understandable. Imagine watching Naruto. He's alive for a thousand episodes, and then they have a one minute fight and kill him off. I can. See- see that because i've watched animes where like the main character dies but and they seem like they're dead but they're not really dead and then they come back again so i looked up i was like i was like oh they better bring this motherfucker back (laughs) they better resurrect this guy nope so like from the they kill off half the captains and the uh, main captain in literally a half an episode and was just like Eh. that's fine they were going to kill off one of the captains and there was such an uproar in the community that they were forced to bring him back. Well, I don't understand why they're go- continuing with the show then. Is that was the, my point. Is the original writer writing this one? Yes. The original, yes. Uh, oh my God. And it sounds like he's really done with the show and hates his life currently and is taking it out on the fans. Which yeah, is terrible. didn't... Didn't he take like a massive? He took a massive break because he was ho- way overly like burnt out, and now that he's he's, he's recovered, right. so now he's, he's just gonna yeah he has but, to recover. He just wants to murder everyone but, and to be done with it completely. But and, this this so. individual has lived and ran the Soul Society for over a millennia. You kill him in a three minute video in a three minute uh b- battle. 
his his ultimate power is said to be so strong it could melt all of the soul society if it's used for too long. Three minute battle. Three minute battle. <clears throat> I don't care that he died. You could kill him off. That's totally fine. But you need to do it epically. That's the only thing. You have to you have to have him have such a a huge moment. And they just stabbed him. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have to watch that show. What? <laughs> I literally, I was like, oh, they did that. That didn't kill him. No. They've shown him have a sword through his gut and he held it and shoved it in. Now that didn't kill him. He sacrificed his own fucking arm. That was fine. No, no. <laughs> they they did what? <laughs> was it like the people from the God realm that finally came through and were like, "We are actually gods"? Yeet. No, yeah. it's it's some stupid Quincy ability because the Quincys are attacking. It's some stupid Quincy ability thing that that the that... Quincys aren't cool, dude. Just fucking give it up. I'm oh, that's the main. Them. That's the main like, villains. The uh, oh, the Quincys, uh, so. and they're so strong that they took out the entire Soul Society in the matter of twenty minutes. Well, you know what. If this Quincy's win, then the entire world just comes to a complete end because nobody can go back to the beginning. So he's just literally yeeting that universe. And, and he's the, like, I'll the, just destroy all of And the That's next, exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. The next uh, head captain is the guy with the two, two swords. Sounds like he is trying to break yeah, his way out he's, of his own. Thing. With, with the flower kimono. He's ending the entire fucking whole ass universe. He's yeah. like, I'm done. I, I, <laughs> I'm done. Like I said, I do not care that this guy died. Yeah. I, I, I think it's fine to kill off an epic character. I I think you just need to do it properly. Right. Yeah, there's there's good writing and there's shitty writing. And it sounds if like you're going to do written, if you're going to so do that that improperly, I don't want to watch the rest because you're not gonna do the rest properly. It to me it sounds like he's not doing anything properly. He's just killing the entire universe off so everyone leaves him the fuck alone about it. So That's exactly what it sounds I'm like. I'm not gonna give him any of my money. <laughs> I'm like, mm. Get uh -huh. the fuck out on your own, bud. I I legitimately was, was, as you could tell, I'm not upset at all. <laughs> all right, we're gonna move on now. Yeah, I'm sorry, Miranda. That was a rant. Um, I okay. So the next two of mine are animes that make fun of other animes. Oh, Ooh, I like that. So we've got Uran Host Club, and that one's like the um slice of life kind of anime it makes fun of like there's this girl at school and she's in a host club but nobody knows she's a girl except for the host club people and it takes them like 10 years for the lead guy to figure out which is hilarious because then he starts running around being like mine mine but everyone's like oh so you're into her and he's like no she's my daughter and he's like mm -hmm. Mm, you're not translating these emotions properly, buddy. But then they like they make fun of. Um, so there's like an episode where a rival school full of. It implies they're all lesbians because they're women who love other women, <laughs> and they come and they're like, "You shouldn't be stuck here with all these brutal young men. We will save you, my lady." <laughs> so 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 is this kind of like the Japanese version of Family Guy? Like, kind where it of. just kind of makes oh fun God. of everything else. Yes, yeah, kind of. It makes fun <laughs> of all the other types of anime. So, like, you'll have, like, fighting scenes because there's one one of the uh, hosts, he's a super good uh, karate guy, and he's, like, his whole family's famous for it, and they're, like, well-known in the military. And so he beats up a bunch of people, and he's like, he's me. He looks like a little toddler. It's What's the name of this? Uran Host Club. It's a really, it's really short. It only has one season. Um... I think it's on Hulu, but some of those sometimes those are the best. Yeah, it is. It's got a bunch of random stuff, but like in the end, it's like, you know, your friends are your friends and you should be good to your friends and treat your friends like they're your family because they're your chosen oh. family. So. I'm gonna have to watch that. It's, it's, that it's, that it sounds ridiculous. I, I watch it continuously. Like I probably watch it once a month because it's so short. Oh it's like God. a day's worth of watching. So like if I'm doing like cleaning up the house or something, I'm it's on in the background while I'm doing my stuff. That's funny. Yeah. I, I I'm I think I would like an anime that would make fun of anime tropes. Yes. Yeah, it does. 
Um, and then the other one is Excel Saga. Um, that one's a, more like the fighting type anime. So it's got like alien invaders, but the aliens are these cute little teddy bears. <laughs> and then when they get really angry, they get like a the strong man face with the mustache. And, they're like, <laughs> and uh, they're like gremlins. <laughs> yeah, so, and uh, they've got a butler who runs them around. And you're like, oh, the butler is evil. But no, the butler is just abused by these little tiny teddy bears. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and nobody thinks the teddy bears are like harmful until they take over the entire world. Like they almost drown everybody oh my god uh, the main character she has a little dog and the only reason she keeps him is because if she runs out of food to eat because she's working her job and she can't make enough money she's gonna eat him so at the end of every episode he's like he's yeah, at the end of every episode this cute little puppy's like please don't eat me i'm so cute i love you don't eat me. does he know that he's proverbial food oh yeah He's literally at the end of the song. There's a little song, and it's him in a, in a spotlight, and he's singing yeah. to her like, "Please don't eat me. I know we don't have any food today, but I love you, and I'll help you stay warm tonight. I don't want to die. Please, someone give us some food so she doesn't eat me." And then her roommate is constantly dying to make fun of the anime characters who die and come back all the time. So she like dies once an episode and comes back. It's ridiculous. She's like constantly coughing up blood. She'll be like. <laughs> And then, like, so she's Kenny. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. yeah, but it's it's ridiculous. But it's supposed to be. You killed Kenny. There's oh my gosh, the universe is actually a character in it, like the universe with, and it's a big swirling like a uh, galaxy with arms. Oh my god, <laughs> yes, Jesus, it's fantastic! Okay. It's ridiculous. I think it's got five seasons. I but... don't think that's the anime for me, but I will appreciate it. Oh no, that sounds like it'd be fucking hilarious to watch. Yeah, it's wild. Um, another goofy one is Spy Family for sure. Oh, I love that one. That one's so cute. It is cute, but it's so goofy at the oh, same God. time. Oh God, yeah, it's ridiculous. Mm. I I like it. You've never even tried to watch I it. I think I I did not try to watch like no. an episode. I'm yeah, I might be misremembering, but I thought I tried like an episode or two. No, I don't think you did. No, I specifically asked you about it, and you said no. Hmm. Maybe I'm forgetting. Yeah. possible i mean there I, I in have your been, old age I have, yeah my old age oof, my whole i would say it's like a hat and a hat kind of anime because you've got one guy who's all like i'm on a mission and then you've got another person who's all like i'm on a mission and then you've got the third person who's like i'm on a mission <laughs> <laughs> she's a kid and has yeah. no idea <laughs> one i want to watch but haven't yet is uh the league of legends arcana oh that one's uh, good i, I enjoyed um, it because i really like uh league of legends i always have liked their animation like uh, uh cinematics um and if the art is in the way of their cinematics is really good and their, i mean their basically their storyline their uh the lore of league of legends is incredibly in depth um and what, crazy um, that that thing we watched the other day when did that come out the mm. it was live on stage but they still had the mix of oh that was 2023's world championship that fucking video was so badass yeah that was uh the they 2023 had... championship uh intro they had a mix of cgi and actual people on stage the the people were interacting with the cgi and it was so fucking Cool. If you haven't watched it, maybe we can do like a live reaction thing mm -hmm. because how they incorporated uh, a dance sequence and added animation and live action uh, dancers coincide mm -hmm. with the light show yeah. at the same time to where they actually had dancers dancing with animated characters on the same stage. And and vice versa, like, like just to give you a, a thing, at the very beginning, he starts slow. The guy's sleeping on the desk, wakes up, goes, oh, League of Legends, you know? I need to play more. And then he, he's like, wait, I hear something outside. He goes outside, and his League of Legends is, like, starting up instead mm -hmm. of his computer. It's, like, live. And he starts running, and he, like, dives into on, on the screen. He dives into, like, a, a portal to go into League of Legends world, and he all of a sudden flies onto the stage. Oh, cool. In yeah. the same motion. They do that for an eleven minute sequence. Oh wow! It was so between cool. like twenty something people. That's impressive. It was. And it was. It, so it, was cool. it was like the first time I'd ever seen anybody incorporate 
live action animation 3d art kind of all in one jumbled thing <laughs> it was it was very very cool to watch definitely it's like a first reaction and because you do appreciate uh <laughs> um <laughs> uh uh anime the way you do i i think yeah for sure as a first reaction thing Aww. you would really really uh uh like it <laughs> he's just trying to cuddle <laughs> it is. He sure is. um i don't have any other ones that i'm kind of in the because I'm, I'm watching one piece i don't have any things on the Upstart. I think we're gonna have a full list of watching the Arcana and the Demon Slayer. So um, Neon Genesis Evangelion is another one that's really good, but that one's very in depth, and you have to watch it in the correct order, which isn't very obvious unless you go online. And like um, it tells you, yeah, like like a, like, a um, like cause you there's the show and then the three films, but you have to watch them in the correct order. Because it's essentially about a world dying and being reborn again over and over and over. Oh, my God. So we're going to all have to tell our kids how to watch the uh, um, Marvel stuff. You're, that's right, basically yeah, the yeah. same thing. Yes. <laughs> but it's really good. It talks. It's like the darker issues. Like, um, it's about three kids who power mechs. Um, and they use the mechs to fight angels. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I think I've watched, like, some skits or some, like, videos online, uh, yeah. like, on YouTube and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I've, I, I don't, I'm, no, I haven't watched the actual uh, um, anime. Yeah, it's a, it's a very intense one. It's a very psychological one, but it's really good. And it's one of those ones that actually makes you think. So if you're looking for something to, like, open up your mind. That's definitely one of the ones cool. I would check it out. And if you like robot fights, you'll also like it because it's got those. And they're really well done. Isn't it like similar to like kaiju fights? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was an interesting movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is like an animated. I, if I remember, right, if it's what I believe I've seen online, I believe it's similar to uh, um, the live action kaiju fights, just epically done animated versions of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, there's uh, the red one, which is suit two. There's suit three, which is purple, and I think suit one is white, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, because it's Ray, Oscar, and Shinji. They're the pilots. Yeah, I, I'm fairly confident I've seen that. Yeah, but it's a, it's really well done, and it's very interesting to watch. And then it's one of those ones where if you go back and rewatch it, you're gonna pick up things that you didn't notice before. So it's right. constantly giving you new stuff. Hmm. Those are nice. Yeah. Yeah, I always like the I like something that's a rewatchability. Yeah. I feel like some of uh, One Piece is going to be like that mm -hmm. because I'm sure there's a lot of things that you just it doesn't it's not important now, but will be later. So you have to go back and be like, okay, this was revealed in this episode. I need to go watch that episode again because I don't yeah, know, like I I've gone it. back and rewatched them going to the Grand Line like two or three times already, yeah. just because it's it's really good and I just didn't enjoy some of the characters and stuff that you see. Oh my so. goodness. Um. Do you have any others? Um, the Puella Magi Magic, uh, Madoka Magica. Oh, Madoka Magica. That yeah. one's super cool. I like the. I like the interesting. <laughs> it's got a very interesting take on the magical girl. Oh, uh, okay. I'm. I'm like. I didn't. I don't even know what you said. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the one that your brother suggested to me, which is the whole reason oh, okay. I started using, um, Hulu again, because that's the only place you can find it. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, really? Yes. A couple of the characters that are in that are also in Sailor Moon. Oops. Yeah, I recognize uh, the voice actors. <laughs> Sailor Mars mm -hmm. is... Um... So I have learned something. Yes. You need to look up the voice actors of uh, of all of Sailor <laughs> Moon and then just watch what they do. Like, yeah, sometimes checking out somebody's catalog is the best way to go about it. You know, like, I, uh, I feel like that's a way for you to find something that I you like. I don't know his name, but he's a voice actor of like Spike Spiegel. And so far, I've literally liked, I've enjoyed every anime that he's voice acted in. So. No idea. He's from Cowboy Bebop. Again. Spike Spiegel. Nope. Nope. <laughs> um, I know there's at least two that are similar, that are the same, but I can't think of who the other one was right now. But um, the main, the main, um, one that's trying to stop, like, 
Madoka. Yep, from mm -hmm. Becoming a Magical Girl. That is Christina V, and that is Sailor Mars. Yeah. No. We have a no, that one's a good one with her. No, I don't. Right? Isn't that the one nope. with the green hair? That... Nope. Nope. You're thinking Neptune. Oh. <laughs> yes. Sorry. What I'm she not... said. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not the greatest at remembering. Sorry. Um, I have a picture with Lauren Landa is her actual name, and that is Sailor Neptune. Yeah. She was lovely. Yes, she was. She has an absolute sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm excited for the upcoming animes that we're going to be watching. So we have a lot of work to do. Demon Slayer! <laughs> yep, I got Demon Slayer, Arcana. I got, I don't know, like 900 episodes of One Piece. Um, I got the live-action Avatar. I have to take breaks. Like, oh. so I was watching, like, a season or so at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> breaks. <laughs> season or so at a time, and then I would go and watch something else. Because I don't want to get burned out on stuff. Um, I'm excited. See, I just moved from one series to the next, so like, um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Uh, I forget what they're called. It's the ones where they die in our world and they're reborn into the other world, like Overlord, for example. So the guy doesn't necessarily die. He is like he's online playing his uh, RPG oh, that's game. The, that's the theme of the right. Yeah. So he's online playing his RPG game, and he's, like, the last one left of his clan, and he's, like, going through and just messing with all the settings and stuff, saying goodbye because the servers are going to be shut off, and the game's going to be dead forever. Sword art. Similar. But this is called Overlord. So he goes, and he's, like, getting ready to shut down, and he's like, oh, well, it's midnight. And he's like, how am I still in here? And he can't log out. So then, like, he's like, okay... So he summons everybody, and they're, like, all the changes he's made to their characters are permanent. And so, like, the one character, he's like, she lives, and he, she really loves him. And he's like, oh, God, this is, this is bad. I didn't want this. <laughs> and he's like, get it off, get it off. <laughs> um, and so he discovers that he's now actually living in the game world, but the game world is slightly different from the world that they played in. Oh, my. And now this is his new life. <laughs> Oh, that literally, yeah. it sounds almost exactly like Sword Art Online. Yep. Uh, it's a whole genre because there's like yeah. that time I got reincarnated as a slime, which is another really good one. <laughs> I just great. can't bring myself yeah. with that name. <laughs> <laughs> I love the little slimes. They're just so cute and booby. <laughs> <laughs> they just look like little happy jellies. And I'm like, I want a snack. That was funny. Um, I'd feel so bad if I stepped on it. That's the thing, you can step on them and then they're just like boop, 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 and they hop out the way. I'm totally fine. <laughs> just little jellies. Oh. Little hopping jellies. Oh. So cute. That means they're gross everywhere. No, they're not slimy. Oh. They're There's slimes, like... but they're not slimy. Yeah. The slime is the class of creature. No, thank you. <laughs> But they're super cute. There's uh, another one I watch where there's like the slimes can change. So there's like specific slimes that actually like clean stuff. So there's like slimes that clean the kitchen and there's slimes that clean laundry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's, it's super cute. No, <laughs> I, I love those. <laughs> sure, that does sound like an anime for me, but no, sure. She keeps cute. trying to get me to watch it, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's so cute. You're going to watch it. It just makes you feel good. You're like, I love this world. I want to live here, too. No. <laughs> no, that sounds slimy. Well, sounds like we got a little bit of homework to do. <laughs> um, is there anything? Uh, nope. You, you're done? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, I've so, started a couple, but I never finished them. Death Note, Full Metal Alchemist. Death Note's good. I stopped watching it. I don't remember why. You just, I, I remember you saying you didn't. You just didn't like the story of it. You finish it, it's satisfying. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you got what you deserve, bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I hope that's a couple of animes that maybe uh, gives you a little thought of, of watching or um, listening to if you want to listen to them. Um, Thank you for joining our D20 Discoveries podcast, and we hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining us. Happy adventuring. Happy adventuring. <laughs>